We've been joined by three other uh, members of the Galaxy Star uh, organization and who also are members of the family gang kind of situation that uh, we have uh, talked about. Uh, this is uh, Mr. Harris and Mr. McKissick and Mr. Reynolds. Reynolds. Mr. Reynolds, don't hold me up like that, Mr. Reynolds. <laughs> okay, and so let's, let's uh, Mr. Reynolds, uh, let's have you, Mr. Reynolds, uh, start us off, and uh, Mr. McKissick and Mr. Harris will uh, join us over this 10-minute segment to tell us uh, how you became involved in this Galaxy Star family and, uh, and what uh, your association with this group really means to you. My association with the group means, like, I mean, this is my brotherhood, my family. Okay. Like, we not your typical gang going out shooting people and killing people. Mm -hmm. We are just about making money the legit way. Mm -hmm. Business, car washes, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, we not about all the killing, going out and hurting other people mm -hmm. for no reason. Just mm -hmm. to earn stripes in the game. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. Reynolds, what, class, what grade are you in? Are you still in? Huh? You're in the 11th grade. Now, what, what are some of your uh, future aspirations in terms of... Uh, of uh, moving on in society and, and mm -hmm. how do you see yourself? I mean, I see myself being productive. Okay. I mean, I want to I wanna do some landscaping. All right. I want to own businesses. Mm -hmm. All good stuff. And, and well, have, have, have you seen any kind of uh, thing that would keep you from being successful in doing that? Yes, sir. A now, lot what, of, what are some of the things that would keep you from being successful in doing that? I mean, like, like my brother said, People try to knock you down. Okay. Just to earn stripes. Uh huh. All that type of stuff. And, what, what, and, and McKissick, when he say earn stripes, what is he saying? Like, basically get their rank up, get their name out there, to give them more respect uh -huh. in the gang. Well, is there some kind of ranking system that uh, you generally find in these gang family kinds of relationships? Yes, sir. Uh huh. Well, could, could you sort of explain uh, about what that relationship? About the about yeah, the, rank. the ranks. I mean, what? The well, basically, you gotta do. You have to do whatever someone tells you to do to get your rank. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's so many levels of rank. I really just can't even explain mm -hmm. them all. But it's like it's the lowest rank, and then it's the highest, highest rank. rank. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So once you once you get to your highest rank, basically that's an honor. Uh -huh. Within the family, within that gang, within, within the family. family. Uh -huh. yeah, it's an honor, and mm -hmm. you get the most respect, and that's what everybody really want to work for. Uh -huh. And in other words, Harris, what, what we're saying, it, it seems to me that uh, uh, the violence or any other thing that might be associated with that really is almost incidental. Uh, the most important thing is that you do it and you get respect for doing it. Is, is that what we're saying, Harris? Yeah, most, uh -huh. most gangs. Uh-huh. And, 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 but now we know that Galaxy Star is different because we've had an opportunity to talk to, but do but yeah. th you think that that is the general situation that yeah, many people... That's the general situation. Uh-huh. And, well, now, what, what about your uh, situation? Now, wh what, what grade are you in? I'm 12. This is 12th grade, and what are some of your aspirations? I want to go to college and be a, become a male nurse. Uh, a male so, nurse in college. Uh -huh. What about you, McKissick? I want to basically be my own boss. Uh -huh. Just have a lot of different businesses uh -huh. so I can just work with the community, work with the kids, uh -huh. get them out there. Because to me, that's one thing we need is more jobs uh -huh. so people my age can find a different way to make money. Because uh -huh. people my age, all they know, we really can't fault them because all they know is go out here, kill somebody, rob somebody, because mm -hmm. that's all the adults is telling them. Mm -hmm. That's around them. You know? yeah. So basically, I just want to get more jobs and get the kids involved so mm -hmm. we can just keep them out the street, mm -hmm. stop mm -hmm. the violence. Mm -hmm. Well, Mr. Harris, what, what, what do you think about, uh, and I think that we've addressed this on a number of occasions, well, uh, how hopeful are you in reference to the election of, of our president? What, what has that meant, meant to you, uh, Mr. Harris? It's really meant a lot, though. Uh -huh. It meant a lot. It meant a lot, okay. It's showing that it's hope for us uh, as some black people. Uh -huh. We can actually be something. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the men can't always hold us down. Okay, very good. And, and, and so that, that's a very, very... And, and you mentioned, uh, uh, McKissick, about the uh, lack of jobs. Uh, speak to that. I mean, uh, you find that... Uh, really, they, to me, ain't no, don't, know, don't nobody give us a chance. Mm -hmm. Galaxy Star, the only person gave me a chance. If you realize how many times I apply for different jobs, mm -hmm. and ain't nobody, they take one look at I can come clean dressed and everything. They take mm -hmm. one look at me, and it's over, and I can mm -hmm. see it in their eyes. Mm -hmm. And really, I just want to just, just 
just stress the fact you get more jobs out there, give people a chance, because mm. you give them a chance, they might can show you something. You mm -hmm. never know till you try it. Mm -hmm. you know? And that's just, to me, it, it ain't right. Mm -hmm. that, it just make me mad inside that you don't sit here and give us a chance. But then again, you get mad when we're out here robbing and killing, mm -hmm. but you ain't never, you know, mm -hmm. listen to it, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so, so, so you believe that opportunity, uh, if, 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 if people had a job, you think that a lot of these folks that are involved in these games, uh, if they had a place to get a, a time to get up in the morning and go to work or whatever uh, and, and come home with some kind of pay, you, you think that that would uh, decrease the number of these gang kind of relationships, uh, these violence that's involved with these relationships? Some people. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Some people. Some people. You, some, some people pe really do just like the fast money. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. and, and that really was draws a lot of violence and uh -huh. drug dealing because people get addicted to the fast money and uh -huh. they think about the consequences later. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, do you find that, that, that there's much uh, uh, selling and, 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 and of drugs within and, and, and these societies and within these, these families or whatever? Yeah, yeah. It's a lot. So that's a real problem in terms of drugs and money, and, and, and most of that is generally associated with money. Is that right? Which is say yeah. folks who are out there selling drugs really don't have an opportunity to uh, uh, make money in, in, in many other ways. But is that then right? again, that's, that might be what all they know. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. They've never had an opportunity to do anything yeah. else but exactly. uh, what they're doing, and so they've never been shown. A different exactly. way. And so all three of you are essentially saying that uh, all you need is some kind of real help. Got and it. all so of you have real, real aspirations help. to yeah. be just like everybody else. Yeah. You'd like to be uh, college graduates. You'd like to be medical personnel and the whole thing. But the only thing that you believe that are, that's holding you and, and your gang, quote, family back is that this stereotype in reference to you and when you go down to uh, try to get a job, people will look at you, and I think as you indicated, McKissick, that it, not only do they look at you, and, but that you can see it in their eyes in terms of the kind of resentment or whatever that they hold in reference to you, and so you don't even feel like asking for exactly. a job after you see them look at you. Exactly, it, just, it burn your confidence from here to here uh -huh. when uh -huh. you see that, when you see and you go multiple times and you get excited, you know what I'm saying, oh, we gonna, we gonna call you back. Uh -huh. And, and every time you go, they, they give you that story about call. They, uh, and they just make raise you stop your, you, They raise your uh, uh, hopes, yeah. and then uh, you go back and you find out that uh, uh, your hopes have been dashed. Is, is, is that it? And so, and, and, and so, what, what, what would you like to say to uh, the uh, public this morning in reference to uh, uh, what they ought to do uh, for, for people like uh, you and, and, and the rest of us? I mean, what they need to do, you talking about the children wise, Yeah, children yeah, what they wise. need to do, what, what they need to do to help you. Uh, to help me? I mean, they just need to give me a chance. That you give you a job. You think yeah. that if you could get a job and get some kind of employment or yeah, some kind of, keep me off the street. Keep you off the street, that, uh, in other words, you would rather be at work somewhere making money yes, than to be on the streets hustling Selling and not drugs. making money and et cetera, et cetera. And so, well, I don't think that that's a difficult choice to have to make, uh, you know, uh, if, if, but that people should. If, if, would, would that be the same thing that you would agree to, uh, Mr. Harris? Yeah, and I would like, like more support in uh -huh. the community. Uh -huh. to, to work in the community. Yeah. Like lift us up instead of putting us down. Uh -huh. And, and you, so you think that it, within the community itself, it's Among even, your people you know, within even the community. That, it even goes on in our schools sometimes. Uh -huh. Certain teachers put you down. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They think he ain't going to be nothing, he ain't going to graduate, stuff uh -huh. like that. Okay, and, and so, yeah, I, that, that, that's kind of hard to work against. Yeah. Some, and they listen to us more. Uh -huh. They think because we're young, we don't know. Uh -huh. and but so, we got most of the knowledge. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. And, and, and so you think, you think that uh, if, if, if you had some jobs, if people would uh, sort of give you uh, more respect, that's what you're, that's what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. See, the, but the thing about respect is that you have to give respect in order to receive respect. And I think sometimes that many of us we get caught up in that. We, we demand respect before you, respect is something that, uh, and I, I'm sure that you've heard this said before, something that you earn, you see, and I think that you earn it by the way that you carry yourself and et cetera, and, and, but, but I think that uh, this has given us an opportunity over the last uh, 30 minutes to at least talk to uh, seven different folks, and I think that all of you have said essentially the same thing, that is that if somebody will help you, uh, help raise you up rather than put you down, and sort of give you respect. And, and, and I think the only thing that we can say to that is, is that, you know, it's a mutual kind of thing that you respect. And I think that if you start 
you find out that if you start respecting folks, folks will start respecting you. But I certainly agree, and I'm glad that all three of you, as well as the others, had an opportunity to come by and at least let uh, a society see that all of you are very, very good people who have an opportunity and could do a lot of good things. And let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.